Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News. Bringing you a magnetic excursion update Tuesday, April 22nd, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. The 18th paroxysm at Kilauea commenced earlier today. We live-streamed it over on Rumble. Fountaining exceeded 650 feet. It was spectacular. Keep calm, it's boom time. A New Jersey wildfire exploded since this morning. Over 3,200 acres burned with containment just at 5%. An uncontained wildfire spread to 3,200 acres in central New Jersey in the Pine Barrens, prompting evacuations for thousands and shutting down the New Jersey Turnpike. The unnamed blaze was first reported shortly after 10 a.m. this morning local time and since has spread in the Pine Barrens area of southern Ocean County, according to the New Jersey Forest Fire Service. The fire was only 5% contained as of 7 p.m. this evening, and we do have some footage, epic footage of the fire. Let's take a look at this shot from quite a distance here at that major Pine Barrens fire. And we are over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project at Diamond the Dave on X, formerly Twitter, where you can be kept updated on all the latest. This is the Jones Fire, now named uh, Burning in Ocean County. Let's take a look from the chopper here. Not very good resolution, albeit here. I don't think we can get it any better than that. So there is the major Pine Barrens fire now burning near homes and other stuff. Let's take a look here. Pure chaos. The Jones fire ripping through New Jersey neighborhoods. The fire last estimated at 3,200 acres. This is insane fire behavior for New Jersey or just about anywhere. We can see here. Must be quite windy there in the Jersey Pine Barrens. And you can see definitely some structures there being threatened with the firefighters on scene. Good news there. These guys are heroes, for goodness sakes. Can you imagine if this was your job, your livelihood? You got to rush into danger and you've got to do the dirty work. And clearly, we have... Uh, a catastrophe unfolding here in New Jersey overnight, unfortunately. As cleanup efforts continue in Illinois and communities as they rally after severe storms which, which hit the central U.S. and will continue all week. Cleanup efforts entered their second day on Tuesday after a severe storm swept through West Central Illinois Sunday night, causing damage in several communities. The city of Macomb was among the areas affected with parts of one house's roof torn off during the storm. Here we see a fallen tree. And Colorado pr prepares for its first severe weather risk of the season. Possible severe weather south and east of Denver with hail and wind threats are looming for Wednesday afternoon. And if that does increase, we will report on it in the evening. Severe thunderstorm watch for parts of West Texas and the Texas Panhandle. The first bona fide severe threat looms over Texas region amid storms. And severe storms with hail and a low tornado risk will move into Oklahoma as well. Tuesday begins a stretch of days with severe weather risk across Oklahoma and the center of the U.S. And the new tornado alley has been, well, unfortunately hyperactive this year. Could have something to do with the weakening magnetic field and the shifting jet stream. More tornadoes than usual have already struck the U.S. in 2025, and many of them have been touching down further east than they have in the past. Take a look at this beauty. An EF-2 lofting debris from a home in Lockett, Texas. By last Saturday, the National Weather Service reported that 552 tornadoes have occurred in the U.S. this year. Can you believe that? That number seems amazing. 
It's well above the average of 337 for the period of January through April in the last three decades. Then an outbreak struck Texas and Oklahoma on Saturday night, killing at least three people. Parts of those two states were at the center of the twister-prone tornado alley for most of the 1990s, but this well-known corridor has been shifting steadily eastward in the past three and a half decades, and this year, many of the touchdowns that caused deaths occurred in Mississippi, Alabama, and even Tennessee, all east of the old alley. And we, in fact, here's the old alley, are now in a new alley. Holy mackerelly. And here is the full forecast. Severe thunderstorms in the southern and central plains with a flooding threat in western Hawaii. Isolated to scattered severe thunderstorms may produce large hail, severe wind gusts, and heavy rain and isolated flash flooding across portions of the southern and central plains. Spattered uh, flood warnings and watches up here on the Mississippi. So click on your county for more information. Showers and thunderstorms are expected to linger across the south the next few days. So it's going to be a bumpy ride as we are in spring. Ding, ding. Heavy showers are creating flash flooding threats around Kauai and Nihua in Hawaii. And that is the northernmost island, which I just clicked away from. You see it there? That big green warning in effect. GFS model shows, well, there's going to be some snow through the spring, dang, dang, and a big event through Canada in the coming days. Take a look at that. That is going to be quite an area of impressive global warming goodness in the near future. This is the snowfall through the beginning of May in the West. Substantial totals for, it looks like, western Wyoming as well as Montana, 16 or more inches in some regions in the high elevations, as well as the Sierras and even the southern Rockies, which is good news. Our basins are depleted. Let's take a look at if there's any severe weather threats coming soon. There's that strip of storms in the south. Three, three hours from now, we could see some severe weather threats from Texas up through uh, Indiana there. Nothing significant really developing in the next coming days. Just a smattering of spring activity. Nothing really lighting up the GFS model as we enter the first week of May. Hey, hey. A new eruptive episode at Kilauea Volcano today produced lava fountains of over 650 feet. It was amazing. It was spectacular. And we live streamed over 11 hours at Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Rumble. Go check out the live stream and soak it up. We've got some amazing footage of some of the highest fountaining in this multi-episode event. Just come over to Rumble. Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Rumble in the Jungle. Space weather news. Well, the massive coronal hole continues to face us. So let's take a look at the seismicity today. So there was a slight uptick due to this coronal hole. We did have a 6.2 magnitude in the Philippines, but at quite a depth, nobody felt it and there is no danger. A slight uptick in 5 magnitude, but no major quakes due to this coronal hole. Take a look at it. It is massive. Albeit it's in the southern hemisphere, the major effects are when these coronal holes are equatorial, and this is far south. Three-day geomagnetic forecast looks like it's calming down over the next three days. Low-level flaring today got up into low-level M range with a moderate flare there. Nothing significant and no geomagnetic storming is on the horizon as the sun is quieting down as we go into solar minimum of cycle 25 and into 26. Here we can see that coronal hole stream beginning 48 hours ago, and it's now ramping down. Plasma speed is dropping. Density has leveled off. The BZ has be been stable the whole time. That's why we really didn't pop up into geomagnetic storm at all. 
which is good news for the earth and the grid, but bad news for Aurora watchers. Take a look at this. A rare smiley face is going to light up the night sky on April 25th. It's a triple conjunction event that involves Saturn, Venus, and a crescent moon. Boom. And it is a funny face that almost never happens. The smiley face will only be visible for about an hour. So if you don't get out and look up, you're a schmuck. Sky watchers could receive a bit of cosmic positivity if they look up shortly before dawn on April 25th. Around 5.30 a.m. Eastern Time, Venus, Saturn, and the Moon will briefly align during a rare triple conjunction to resemble a smiley face when viewed from Earth. The trio will offer its grin for about an hour near the eastern horizon before the sun begins to rise. And holy macaroni, this will be a sight indeed. Look at this guy. Look at that little smiley guy. <clears throat> now NASA's Luna spacecraft is imaging the asteroid Donald Johansson. In its second asteroid encounter, NASA's Lucy, Lucy spacecraft obtained a close look at a uniquely shaped fragment of an asteroid that formed about 150 million years ago, according to science fictionists. The spacecraft has begun returning images that were collected as it flew approximately 600 miles from the asteroid Donald Johansson on April 20th, 2025, Let's open up the image, which is a GIF, and you can see the peanut shape of this asteroid, which is similar to all the comets we have ever visited that are electrically discharging. Now, according to astrophysicists, this is due to two asteroids merging in interstellar space and fusing together somehow, which has no explanation in reality. But what we do see with comets of this size is that they are electrically discharging in an equatorial region, which Lee and I covered on our last update on magnetic reversal news on Rumble. Did Bielas comet cause the great fires of 1871 and electric comet hypothesis? So you could see here an electric comet discharging from all proximities and well, we get to the brass tacks and the fact that, well, mainstream cosmology is dead. It was an excellent theory. Let's just take a look at this comet. It is discharging in this equatorial position, and therefore there is plasma scouring occurring. It's just basic electric universe science, and each and every time... Modern cosmologists are baffled by one of these discoveries. Well, the EU model has already explained it. So go check out, did Biela's comet cause the great fires of 1871 and the electric comet hypothesis at Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble, where we can rumble in the jungle and free speech is king. And that's a boom to knowledge. Please hit the thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe. Over half of the people watching this video are unsubscribed, and we need your help to grow. Hit that subscribe, the thumbs up, and the notification bell. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Noon.